So this brief presentation summarizes the work that uh, we have done uh, for the contract. Our team is made by people from uh, Politecnico di Milano and two professors and a PhD student from Michigan State University. So the goal of our study was the, the development of some tools based on differential algebra and Taylor models for the detailed, detailed analysis of uh, apophis close encounter. So differential algebra is an automatic differentiation technique that computes uh, the n-order Taylor expansion of a, of a function. On the other hand, Taylor models combine differential algebra and interval analysis for the computation or, of sharp enclosure of sufficiently regular function. When we apply these two techniques to uh, integration of, of ordinary differential equation, we obtain, in the first case, the n-order expansion of the flow and with the model, we have the, um, the validated enclosure of the flow. For this reason, these two methods uh, can be used uh, uh, in an efficient way for the nonlinear propagation of uncertainties. So, in our study, we just focus on uh, apophis trajectory, and we implemented a, a restricted end body problem, which included the sun, the nine planets, in some cases also <coughs> the moon, and of course the, uh, the asteroid. In order to uh, compute the dynamics to, uh, in uh, DA and Taylor model uh, framework, we uh, developed um, some interpolation of uh, the GPL ephemeris. And our dynamical model, we consider also relativistic effects and journal Yarkovsky effects. Then the trajectory has been split in two phases, an eccentric phase and uh, a, closer, um, a close encounter phase. And we have considered for initial condition uncertain initial condition in uh, uh, orbital parameters and in Cartesian coordinates. So the DI integration has been performed using a 8 order ruger kutta felberg integrator with accuracy of 10 to the minus 12. We have used in, uh, integration expansion order up to 6 and all our integration started from 2020. Then we have assessed the integration accuracy by comparing the nominal solution with that one uh, available on JPL FMRIS. And we assessed <coughs> the map accuracy by evaluating the expansion and comparing it with the pointwise integration. So in this slide, we first show the integration accuracy for the nominal trajectory for both the recentric phase and the cause encounter phase. And we can see from the figure on the right that in both cases, the accuracy is of the order of 10 to the minus 7 astronomical unit, which is enough accurate for our study. And just note that after the flyby, we have a steep increase in the, uh, in the error. Pertaining the uh, flow expansion accuracy, as I said before, we just um, evaluate the map and compare that for, with a pointwise evaluation. And we have done this analysis from uh, order 1 <coughs> up to order 5 or 6. We can see from these two figures that uh, a third order expansion, order, uh, expansion allows uh, errors of the order 10 kilometers on position and 10 to the minus 2 kilometers per second on velocity, which is comparable with the uh, integration accuracy. And on this slide, we uh, show the computational time required by uh, differential algebra integrator integration. And again, we can see with uh, third order, we have a computational time with respect to a pointwise valuation that is just uh, 1.86 times. So it's not uh, that much. The first algorithm that we have developed is a idea-based Monte Carlo simulation. This algorithm is based on the fact that we have I order the expansion of the flow. So instead of uh, computing uh, several pointwise evaluation, pointwise integration, we just perform one DI integration and then uh, several uh, map evaluation. So in this slide, we can see here that uh, by doing only one DI integration and just map evaluation, we have the Monte Carlo uh, uh, simulation based on differential algebra takes only the uh, 0.02% of uh, uh, a pointwise Monte Carlo. For, uh, in this case, we consider a third order expansion and uh, 10,000 virtual asteroids. In the figures below, we have the 
the statistics of the uh, distance, close encounter distance from the Earth, considering all the other parameters and Cartesian coordinates, <coughs> initial condition, for both the two cases where uh, the mean value of close encounter is around 30,000 kilometers, but with Cartesian coordinate initial condition, we have a much greater standard deviation. So the minimum distance is quite uh, small in the case of uh, Cartesian coordinates. The same common algorithm we have developed is based on the fact that uh, for each uh, virtual asteroid belonging to the uh, initial condition set, we have different close encounter <coughs> distance and close encounter epoch. And we have used the um, expansion of the flow in order to compute the Taylor expansion of the uh, close encounter uh, distance epoch and the close encounter uh, distance for all the asteroids belonging to the initial set. And then we have performed again a Monte Carlo analysis on these two maps, obtaining the clouds here in the figure. So we have uh, here the variation from the nominal uh, epoch of the close encounter distance and here the minimum distance from the Earth for all the clouds of the asteroid considered. But having these two maps, we can do more. 